there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Are we lost? No. Well, yes, we are lost. I knew it. What is that? This is a map. Oh, I've seen that at school. No, that is a globe. What's the difference? Well, a globe is a three-dimensional presentation of the entire world, so you can see where the continents are. You can also point a flashlight at a globe and see which continent or country is in nighttime and which continent or country is in daytime. You can also simulate a flight from one place to another place through different routes and show that our Earth is round. You can rotate the globe and see the continents of the world. Here you can see North America and South America. This is Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. A globe can be called as a duplicate Earth. It is round in shape and shows more accurate areas, distances, directions, and relative shape and size. Then what's a map? A map gives a two-dimensional presentation of certain regions in the world. And you can see, this map is in Mommy's hand. It is easier to use and portable. I can easily put this map in my purse and bring it wherever I want. There are many kinds of maps. This is a world map, which shows the continents and countries in the world. This is our city map, which shows the roads, parks, and public places. See? That's your school. And our house is here. With this map, we know how to get to school from our house. Wow, that's really helpful. And this is the park map. It shows where the play areas are the walking paths, and the bathrooms. Wow, that's really helpful. And what's this? This is a compass rose. It's used to display the orientation of the directions. In is for north, S is for south, E is for east, and W is for west. And what are these symbols? This is the map key. It helps us identify what's on the map. This way, we can find what we're looking for. Let's look at this park map. This is where the bathrooms are. This is where the pond is. This is where the playground is. This way, we don't get lost. Why don't you tell me what these are? It's a city map. A zoo map. Next time, I will ask for a zoo map so I could go see the penguins. A theme park map. Hey, I remember that merry-go-round. I loved it. That's a globe. It's United States map. Can you teach me how to make a map? Of course. First, why don't you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our future educational videos.
I will teach you how to make a map of your room. First, go get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. Now, locate where your door is and draw this. Next, let's draw your bed, your desk, and your toy box. Ta-da! That's your first map. Wow! My first map! This is fun! Why don't you make a map of your room, too? Maybe a map of your house as well.